Let's say you are going to sell your property. Well, there's the market and then there's the marketing. One of the marketing gurus of real estate is a woman by the name of uh, Mary Maloney, who we're going to bring in to talk about selling your property. Mary Maloney, the Great marketing selling. guru. <laughs> Welcome. Well, I don't know about guru, but we do our best. Uh, you know, you, you really do a phenomenal job. We're in a new world now of social media, video marketing. All this is so important, and we're going to dive into that. But uh, since the last time we had you on the TV show, you are now officially a radio show host on KCBQ at 7 o'clock on Tuesdays. Tuesdays, so yes. So congratulations on on your show. Obviously, we see here that you can dress a little bit more casual for your radio show. <laughs> Selfless plug, we have to wear the t-shirt. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> so tell us about your radio show. This week, we had a phenomenal guest, which you can go to our website at my-hometownrealty.com to hear the recorded version of the show. But this week, we had Chris Smith, the co-author of People Work, on the show with us and it was just a phenomenal interview talking about putting people first in a digital first world. And so that really translates into real estate in a big way because at the heart of real estate and at the end of the day, it's really about people and utilizing technology and tools in marketing properties is really just the tool and the avenue to really get to the people and the heart of the experience and the heart of the home. Wow, what a, what a great message. I know we talk a lot about equity growth and interest rates and tax advantages, but it's a home first. It's a place you're gonna live and build memories. Uh, what, what a great message. Right. There was an article this week I read that was pretty interesting about video marketing. And I don't really know anybody who does it better than you. Of course, we have an all-star team that we bring on the show to talk about the different micro markets uh, in San Diego. You're out of North County. You're the fastest growing boutique uh, in North County Coastal. Did I get that right? I, I'm trying. I owe you a hundred bucks. You owe uh, me a hundred bucks. You any, forgot anytime brokerage. Anytime I mispronounce one of <laughs> Mary's mini awards, she makes me pay her a hundred dollars. But this, uh, <laughs> this article is interesting. It talked about video marketing. Now I know a lot yep. of realtors and agents are trying to get caught up with this. You are way ahead of the curve. Uh, I want to get you to comment on it, but let's go ahead and play one of your recent videos that you did for a seller. Amazing video. I do have to say that kid has a weak cannonball. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really fun video for us to put together. It was a phenomenal property, obviously. And moving forward, visual marketing is really going to be the key for sellers, especially when there's a lot of inventory. If you are just putting up the same old photos as every other home is doing, having a video that really shows the lifestyle and the experience that a future buyer could have in your home is really what will make it a standout property and also deliver on price. You know what I think? When I look at that, the first thing I think is I, I want to fly you to St. Louis, Missouri, where I'm from, and do that for my parents just so they can capture some memories. Whether you're buying or selling a house, that, that's just a cool thing I think to have. Uh, I also look at it and think, all right, well, how priceless could that be? 
when you're selling a home. But then I start to think about the higher price range. And, and you represent a lot of high-end luxury clients as well, luxury listings. Yes. When you're talking about real estate being an emotional buy, that type of video could make a ten, twenty, fifty thousand dollar swing on a cash buyer. I would think. I mean, is that is that a fair statement? Absolutely. This property actually closed escrow yesterday. We went into escrow in 14 days with multiple offers, full price. And even though the property struggled on appraisal, the buyer was willing to bring in the difference. And she said her kids could not stop watching the video. And they were so emotionally invested in this home that there was no way she was going to let it go. Yeah, I mean, I get it. The, the pool, the dirt bike. I mean, I'm, I'm genuinely a viewer of this as I'm sitting here uh, chatting with you today. It's, a, it's an incredible video. And then I, I know that you now take something like this, you, you mass market it. Mm -hmm. uh, you're really big in social media, Facebook. How important is that as far as the strategy goes? Well, it's about reach and it's about exposure and it's about eyeballs and utilizing social media. This video alone has had over 1400 hits for us in just a matter of about six weeks. So that's phenomenal when you think about exposure and eyeballs and through social media, we're also able to specifically hit demographical categories. So with this video in particular, we were going after people that were interested in motocross or BMX. Well, you got a great social media page. You got a lot of friends and followers on it. Uh, you're posting things that you're doing in the real estate market about your radio show. I hope people can find you on there. I, I met your daughter for the first time last time you're on the show. I felt like I already knew her. I've been followed her in her trip to France. Uh, it, and so it, it is a social media first. You do a great job with that, but you also integrate a lot of great information like these videos. And I, I can certainly see how it'd be very valuable if you were selling your home. So Mary, as always, the, the marketing guru, great information. I appreciate you coming in here today. And I hope people are, are smart enough to visit you online and, and see if you can do one of those videos for them. It's my-hometownrealty.com. Uh, Thank you, Mary. Appreciate it. Thank you.